Hey, Cal students, I hope you have all shaken off those post-election blues. We've got your latest on the election results, the Berkeley Project, and more. I'm Brittany Tom. And I'm Lu Jalin. The Berkeley Beat starts now. We hope you all voted this past Tuesday in what certainly was an exciting election. Here's Lily Allen Gordon with student reactions to the election. I'm here on Sproul to see what students have to say about Tuesday's elections. Well, I don't think that that many people voted for the results to be representative of um, all of the people who live in California. First of all, people are getting just fed up with like what Democrats were doing and it just shows how ineffective the two-party system really is and how people really aren't being represented because of that. I really trust, I trust Jerry Brown. One of the races that most people don't pay attention to but that uh, I'm glad turned us certain way was the state controller race um, with John Chung. He's like kind of like the fiscal conscience of the of the state so when um, the California legislature wanted to spend money in certain ways uh, the controller was there to be like we don't have the money in the budget actually. The climate change bill in California so I'm, I'm glad that didn't pass because I know like most of the sponsors are big oil companies that try to get that passed so I'm good we're, we're still a progressive state. I have a friend who has cancer and she can't take the medicines, she can't take like the things that the doctors give her and the only thing that helped her eat was pot. Um, pot that was actually cooked in olive oil and that's the only way she could eat is just like swallowing some of that and she gets her appetite back. None of the meds help her and I'm just really disappointed that none of us can come to our senses if like if we regulate it and plus if we regulate it we could actually end up getting more money in the economy because a lot of people use it. I did vote yes for Prop 19 only because I really thought it was going to help out the, uh, the budget crisis here and the fact that it didn't get passed is unfortunate but you know I think there's other ways that we could you know increase the revenue in the state. Reporting for Cal TV, I'm Lily Allen Gordon. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Lily. In other news, this past Saturday, hundreds of students decided to give back to the Berkeley community by participating in the fourth annual Berkeley Project. This student-run organization allows students to positively impact the community through a network of service projects in and around the city of Berkeley. From collecting trash to pulling out weeds, students got down and dirty as they gave up their Saturday of studying to help the community. This past week, students at Berkeley were decked out in orange and black, even after Halloween, after the San Francisco Giants won the World Series for the first time in 52 years. Fans from across Northern California packed into downtown San Francisco on Wednesday for the Giants' victory parade which is estimated to have drawn up to one million fans. Former BART police officer Johannes Messerly was sentenced to a minimum term of two years in prison this past Friday after fatally shooting unarmed train rider Oscar Grant. Messerly faced as many as 14 years in prison after the July conviction, but Judge Robert Perry ruled that the killing was unintentional. Protests broke out all over Oakland late Friday, shortly after the sentencing, and police arrested 152 people. This week, don't miss the opening of Berkeley's first food co-op in 20 years. And next weekend, the Zenshinza Theatre Company will be presenting a Japanese kabuki performance at Zelaba Hall. Wow, looks like some great events coming up this week. Well, that's all we have for the Berkeley Beat. Well, keep studying for those midterms, and just remember, Thanksgiving is around the corner. And tune in tomorrow for Tiffany Shu's CalConnect on the student group ASHA for Education. We'll see you next week.